I'm reviewing the Armor Auto Adjust Clamp. This is made for metalworking, I think, primarily, and they go to some pains to point out there's no grip on this. Uh, they just mean there's no soft grip material on it. It's just all metal. It's actually very comfortable. One of the reasons I hesitated initially in ordering this for review is uh, I didn't think it would be comfortable. It looked like just a truncated steel handle, but in fact, it is just fine. Uh, you might be familiar with auto adjust uh, tools like this from uh, vendors as various as Craig or Stronghand. Uh, Armor is uh, becoming a well-known name in the in the tool world. They're starting to see their tools everywhere as well. Auto adjusting. Grab thick or thin without adjusting. Well, yeah, sort of. So right out of the gate, I I'm going to tell you, this thing comes... Uh, adjusted you know, for the adjustment screw that I'll show you to its loosest setting and it is tight it's actually hard to open once it's open clamps nicely just like that very firmly and there's a little wiggle room in the clamps that's that's not uh, a reflection on the clamping that's a reflection on the actual play in these clamps and if you have a clamping need that relies on the alignment of the clamp itself, these may not be the clamps for you. I can clamp it tightly again with a position like that offset uh, in the clamp jaws if I want. But again, most of the time, a, a clamp like this is going to be used to hold two pieces of flat metal together. So that's kind of a non-issue, at least it's a non-issue for me. But just wanted to point that out. Took me a second to figure out the adjustment mechanism because it turns out the tension adjustment is reverse threaded. <laughs> so this screw here arrives uh, at its loosest setting. And at that setting, as I said, it's actually, you have to actually give it a good squeeze just to get it closed. If you open the thing up, which lets the uh, thing clamp harder, you can't close it at all now. Of course, you can close it on an object. But <laughs> the adjustment range is not very good. And more critically for me, you don't have the ability to adjust this thing any looser. So you have a fairly tight clamping action no matter how you adjust this. And I've, I've, I've done this on a variety of thicknesses and a variety of materials, and it's very firmly clamped. Your only option, if you wanted to change that, would be to either remove this spring that's right in here uh, that uh, keeps it keeps the uh, screw in position, but it also prevents it from going in any further than that. That's all the way loose when it's all the way in. Uh, you couple, clip a couple of rings out of that spring or even take it off. Uh, it's going to want to move its position if you do that though. So I'm not sure I'm a big fan of exactly how this adjustment mechanism works. The clamp itself is nicely made, good strong steel. Has a nice heavy action spring where it counts down here. Pads are, you know, Decent size. This this is a small version, so they're probably appropriately sized for for the tool this size. Release mechanism uh, is also steel, also on a spring, so all works great. But as I said, I'm not thrilled with the tension adjustment. I don't think it has enough uh, tension range, and I don't think you can set it loose enough. Sometimes you just need to kiss things together. You don't need to slam them together with the force of God. So uh, I would like the ability to use a clamp like this with a much lighter touch as well as with a, a heavier clamp down action. Uh, good tool though, and uh, from a reputable brand. So if this meets your needs, it's a good bet.